I'm gonna recommend you take one teaspoon of this very certain spice to help you greatly with diabetes. Now, when I say the word fix diabetes, what I'm really gonna talk about is how to fix the complications of diabetes. I've done a ton of videos on this related to diet and intermittent fasting, but today I'm gonna to talk about just uh, some incredible benefits from this one, one spice, cinnamon. And the type of cinnamon I'm gonna recommend is called Ceylon cinnamon. So the natural chemical in cinnamon that is doing the heavy lifting is called cinnamaldehyde. And so it has some fascinating uh, research, which I will put down below that I just kind of got sucked into for hours and just, I'm like, just I'm blown away. You know, cinnamon is the most consumed spice in the world. And actually it's the oldest spice that was consumed uh, from quite a few different cultures. So what does it do? Well, it's an anti-inflammatory, it's antimicrobial, uh, and kill microbes, as well as candida overgrowth and other parts of their body. It also has anti-cancer properties. But the big benefit that I want to talk about is the anti-diabetic uh, effects. It has potent anti-diabetic effects, okay? So the first thing it can do is increase insulin sensitivity. And the second thing, it can increase glucose sensitivity. So just these two alone will explain all these other factors, because when we're talking about the complications of diabetes, there's really four main areas of the body. We have the kidneys, we have the eyes, we also have the heart, primarily the blood vessel, and then we have the nervous system. Your nerves in the bottom of your feet and your fingers um, start to lose circulation and they start dying. Number three, uh, decrease the risk of getting non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. If you're going to lower glucose and lower insulin, you're going to suppress the fat on your liver. So you're going to have less fat in your liver. That's a cool benefit. Number four, it actually has protective benefits in the kidney. So if your blood sugar is high and you're taking cinnamon, it can protect the kidney from all the problems that occur. I mean, think about the, the number one cause of kidney failure. Um, that's diabetes. So if you could take something to reduce the side effects, to counter all this, these free radical damage, because think about what diabetes is. You have this higher sugar going through the body. Think about sugar as being like rust. It's oxidizing. It's rusting out the different parts of your body. Now, what is a kidney? A kidney is a filter of your blood. So it gets hammered. So this is why a diabetic usually ends up with kidney problems. But if you can take something to minimize the symptoms, I mean, that's gonna be amazing to increase the longevity of your kidney. Number five, I found studies to show that it can restore peripheral neuropathy. That is that uh, nerve problem that I mentioned before, the bottom of your feet, you get burning, tingling, and painful feet. And there is a good remedy that I like to use called benfotamine and alpha lipoic acid, but cinnamon is another one you could use. So again, what diabetes is doing to the nerve, it's killing the circulation, the blood vessels, the capillaries to the nervous system. So the nerves need a blood supply. So that's what diabetes is doing. It's killing off the blood supply and the oxygen to the nerve. And so the nerves die and you start getting you know, all sorts of symptoms. So cinnamon can actually help uh, prevent that. I mean, think about what happens when you have higher sugar going through your your vascular system. You're creating all sorts of um, inflammatory processes. You're allowing cholesterol to go into the artery. You're creating damage. And then the Band-Aid comes in there with calcium and uh, placking. And then you get a, uh, also clotting. So guess what? Cinnamon can actually prevent or protect endothelial uh, cells. Number seven, it can decrease the risk of cataracts, okay? Diabetes is the number one cause of blindness. But with diabetes, you also get cataracts, glaucoma, and uh, there's a whole list of eye problems that can occur. All right, number eight, because you're lowering glucose and lowering insulin, you're going to have less lipid accumulation. And number nine, less inflammation in your brain. Why? Because cinnamon is an anti-inflammatory. Now, how do you take the cinnamon? Well, you can put it in your tea. You could take cinnamon tea. You can put it in your coffee. You can take it as a pill form. 
Okay, that's a lot of people just take it as a supplement. You can also uh, put in different foods, like there's a recipe, a cinnamon roll fat bomb, okay? And I will put a link down below, which uses kind of cream cheese and whole whipping cream and butter with cinnamon. It's a great little dessert. Of course, we also have uh, cinnamon buns, right? You can use that or cinnamon toast. And I'm being very sarcastic because we're not recommending that. But anyway, I wanted to increase the awareness on just an amazing spice uh, to use uh, for not just diabetes, but if you also have insulin resistance, okay, which a lot of people have. Um, the next best video for you to watch is my one that I did a long ago on diabetes. I think if you haven't seen that, you should check it out. I'll put it up right here.